Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning about how to debug your programs, how to fix them when something goes wrong. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've sabotaged some of my scripts. We're going to go through and fix them together. Now, this first problem is pretty apparent. Everything is flashing except for this ball here. In the output, I can see that there's an error in red. It says workspace.part.script at line 12 it expected something called end to close a function at line three. Got EOF, that means end of file. Did you forget to close do at line 10? So it's trying to help me figure out what the problem is. You can go through the parts and look at the scripts until you find the one that's not working, or you can click on the error itself in the output, and it takes us here. So the first error that came up, it's saying that it was expecting end at line three. So I'm going through here. Here's a function. End wouldn't go here, but I do notice that I forgot the end to my function right here. It also told me that it got an end of file. Did you forget to close do at line 10? So it's also suggesting that maybe I forgot to put an end tag here as well. The editor trying to help me figure out what the error is. A lot of the time when you get an error, it's important to read the message carefully. It'll give you a good idea of where the problem is. Now let's run it again. Okay, it's still not flashing. Looking at the output, I have a new error. It says workspace.partscript line one. Attempt to index nil with parent. Nil means nothing. So that means that it tried to look at something that didn't exist. Let's go ahead and click on the error. It'll open up our script. We'll look at line one very carefully. It's underlining the part that it thinks is an error. If you ever see Roblox underline something, there's a good chance that it's misspelled or something is wrong. So this is a pretty common mistake, misspelling things. Spelling is super important when you're programming, especially when you're using keywords like script, parent, local, function, wait, all of that. S-C-R-I-P-T, missing the R. All right, now let's run it. Click stop. I changed the script while I was running the game. It's asking me if I want to save the changes. I do. So now we can see the script is blue. It's a keyword. Let's run it again. There's still some errors in this script. Ah, invalid value for enum material. So let's go ahead and click on the source, see what it's talking about here. Okay, I have my part dot material and then equals neon. For this to work, I actually have to give it the name of the material. Let's take a look here. I can go into the part that's not working. I can check the list of materials here. Neon is here. It's spelled correctly. But the reason this isn't working is because it's looking for the name of the material. And to do that, we need to put it in quotes. Stop it, save it, run it again. Ah, here we go. Attempt to index nil at material. So we have a similar error to the first one we had. This is probably a misspelling. Okay, my part spelled correctly, but you can see here that it is missing the capital P. Capitalization is just as important as spelling when you're programming. Stop, save, run again, and it looks like everything's working. Let's take a look at some other errors. Here I am in our fire tutorial, and as we can see that our brick is nicely ablaze, but it's far less explosive than we'd like it to be. So let's go ahead and take a look at our errors. Down here in the console, I see it says that workspace.part.script line 12 assigned expression must be a variable or a field. What does that mean? Let's take a look. Line 12 is where we're actually getting to use the touch event. And here it seems to have a problem. Notice that the problem starts where this comma starts. And I know that this shouldn't be a comma. This needs to be a colon. Having the right punctuation, very common error. Let's go ahead and run it again. We have another error. It says workspace.part script line 12. Now it has a different error. It says expected end to close function at line three. Got end of file. Did you forget to close then on line seven? So we can actually kind of trace through our program and see where the problem happens. The first place it notices there's an issue is it says expected end to close function at line three. So it says that this function on line three isn't getting closed properly. But we do see there is an end tag here. But then Roblox goes further, gives us another hint. It says it got end of file. Did you forget to close then at line seven? If we check this if statement here, if then, if statements need an end tag as well. 
All right, let's stop it. Save changes. Let's run it again. Okay, don't have any errors in our console. Let's go ahead and play the game and make sure that we can actually explode. Or if maybe there's something else that's wrong. All right, looks like we're working. There is one more thing in the script that I did that didn't throw an error. I unindented line eight. This isn't an error, but it is easier to tell when something is inside of something else. If you have something inside an if statement or inside a function by indenting it. Now not having it indented at all won't cause the program to fail, but it does make the code much more difficult to read. So if you have code that's inside of something like inside of a function or inside of an if statement or inside of a while loop, it's always a good idea to indent it once. That way you can read through it. 